Oi. <clears throat> this so cad miking? Yeah. I'm cad miking. Alright. What's up, y'all? FBN Nation. I am. <laughs> uh, so, decisions, decisions, decisions. Decisions have been made. And I have conquered myself, my own arrogance, and my own ego. Because, unfortunately, I have to bring you some sad news. The Lamborghini is going to have to wait. I know you see one right now, but unfortunately, talk with my mentors, my financial advisors. God dang it, they are smart. And we decided to oust the Lamborghini. For now. For now. I'm not out of the game yet. But for now, this is kind of what's going on. So for the most part, right now, right now, we're going to be going with the house. That's it. <clears throat> That's it. Already, I, I've, I've been in the real estate talks long enough from Tampa to Texas to everything. All right. Couple things of why I'd arrived at that decision. At that decision is because the amount of return that I'm gonna get, possibly if I rent out my current house, obviously cars are a depreciating asset. I wanna be smart, I'm turning 30 in 11 days. Okay, what are we doing? But as a 29 year old, making the money that I finally am able to make, what the hell am I doing? So, Right now, I live in a townhouse. It's a three, three and a half. And I was like, okay, that's kind of cool. But I needed a, I needed a house uh, with a yard for my dog. So we decided on getting the house. Elevation N, as you can see um, right here. Um, it's going to look a lot different than this because it's going to be left garage facing um couple of the upgrades just to kind of like give you guys an idea of what we did on the floor plan oh it's a lot it's a lot i i i thought that i was gonna find a house that i really wanted that was already built that you know had different styling um you know what you want to work with is lot location and layout and then obviously things that I could change is color, cleanliness, and condition. So what is gonna cost me the least amount of money in the long run to make it what I want to make it? And then, I mean, what, what are the options and what, what, what does it come with? What, what's the lot layout and location? Do I like where it's at? Do I like the layout of the house? Does it facilitate my needs? Sorry, I'm just really excited that I got the damn house. Kind of. So, bringing it back, huh, it's been a long road from the time that my Audi R8 went away to getting back into getting a supercar. And I am very remiss that I'm not getting back into that supercar lifestyle. Um, I found an LP 560 2 Gallardo in um, Motor Cars of Atlanta. It was the right price, something that I really wanted. It wasn't this car specifically. This is at a Cars and Coffee. Um, but I really wanted that car. And I was, you know, taking, you know, inquiring about loans, getting interest rates, all this other stuff. And that kind of fell to the wayside when I was like, all right, well, where do I want to be? And do I still want to live here? Then that opened up the can of worms with, you know, throw a dart on the mat and see where we're at. And unfortunately, like with my job and going to a different location, a lot of things matter. Just like, you know, lot location and layout, it's, you know, where do I wanna live? What are the weather conditions? And what is that city going to offer me? So I've been to Texas, Boston, North Carolina, um, all of which I've loved to their unique own effect. But, Unfortunately, none of those moves are gonna happen because some of those moves require a substantial loss in um, salary due to taxes, um, other things that were kind of banking on, that I was banking on not really being a problem, but they ended up 
as I thought about it, like my job is primarily remote, but I'm very East Coast centric. So the farther west I go, the more I have to deal with the time difference. So then if I'm working a nine to five, then it becomes like a six to five, six to three, whatever the case may be, it would have been a lot, even though, you know, once I got off of work, you know, it's what you kind of have to sacrifice to be able to make that sort of a move. And I didn't think that was gonna behoove me right away. This is gonna be my first shot at uh, actually being a real estate tycoon, I guess, if it were, or managing a rental property, um, cause it's small, it's small. Um, but I wanted to kind of be close by if I was gonna be managing a rental property um, for my first time, because buying a house for my first time, I had to get, you know, in the cadence of how this whole thing was gonna go. And this is, it's really weird because I kind of bought my house after somebody had already made a lot of the design options for me, um, didn't really get the ground up feeling. I mean, I got a little bit of it because I got the customized flooring, cabinets, stuff like that. But it wasn't like the full thing, right? So essentially, this is my first time at building the house from the ground up. Not a townhome, a home home. So... There was just a lot, a lot to deliberate, a lot to go back and forth. Um, I'm not sure how long I plan on staying in this new home, but at least for the next maybe year or two years, it does leverage some ability to have a positive investment in my future. And then at some point I can sell both houses and then move somewhere and get a $600,000 house, which was also almost on the table but then it came down to other things that I was thinking about buying that probably shouldn't be aren't the greatest idea but they are lovely sparkly and shiny but unfortunately this also too has to wait for this whole house transaction because I'm turning 30 years old and I wanted something nice and elegant and a milestone piece that I can look back on and said, when I was 30, I bought X, Y, and Z. So at this point, the X, Y, and Z right now is unfortunately the house. I mean, fortunately, but unfortunately, you know what I mean? Like I really like shiny things. I really like expensive, fast cars, but I had to be real. And to be able to build up a certain wealth to myself and net worth that I can that's manageable. And then later on, the car doesn't seem as bad when I have both mortgages possibly paying for my car payment and driving a Lamborghini around. But, uh, so as far as like upgrades went, um, we went with a fully extended covered lanai. I was very uh, apprehensive about doing a three car garage because I don't really garage a lot, I guess. Like, I used to work on cars and kind of ish in my spare time with friends that were mechanics that helped me, but I just didn't see the use that I would get out of a garage other than turning half of it into a gym, but gyms are so close by nowadays, and I really like working out um, at, you know, a mainstream gym, just personal preference. So we went with the full extended covered lanai. I was thinking about getting the small one, but after seeing renders, um, I'm on a 60 by 60 lot. I think it's 60 foot by 60 feet, um, which is one of the biggest ones in the neighborhood. We also have a small lake in the back. It's almost just like a strip of water. I don't really call it a lake, but it just seems like there's a hole in the ground. And if it rains good enough, then the water level may rise and it might be a full functioning lake. So it's a retention pond, but apparently that Raises up the real estate value, as does the extended lanai, adding square footage under the house. There's going to be tile all the way through here. Um, the kitchen dinette set. We were thinking about getting this morning room. And I went back and forth with my mentors on this a lot um, about adding square footage to the house and then also getting a covered lanai. But both of these things were really expensive to do all at the same, all in one go. So it was one or the other. Now, the virtual tour that I'm gonna take you guys on really fast, 
is the one with the morning room and how much additional counter space that's going to add, how much living space that's going to add. But since it's only going to be, you know, I'm, I'm not housing, you know, a full family. I don't have a full family yet. So having this extra living space wasn't really a cash grab, I guess. It wasn't really something that I could see me using and hanging out. I mean, we're, I mean, I'm a tech guy, so I'm either going to be in, near a computer or near a TV at some point. And this island is pretty, a pretty decent of a size. So meal prep on the bodybuilding um, part of my life is probably not going to diminish. There's a lot of um, cooking space. The one thing that sold me on this house that I could not find in a pre-made house was the optional study. I actually will have an office and it is gonna be awesome. So this study replaces this dining room. So right when, so if you flip this, I guess the dining room would be over here. Use your imaginations. Um, but I will have a full functioning office dedicated to me working from home. Now again, if this ever changes and I don't end up working from home, I do like having my own separate space to video game and to shoot these videos. So it'd be nice to not be in the living room anymore. And w dealing with foot traffic behind me, um, it's it just can't come soon enough. It's just like, God, why is you know January so far away? On with the rest of it. So watch, not really a thing right now. I have to save up all my chips in order to do this, to create this great, masterpiece of a house. I'm so excited for this study, it's not even a game. No Lamborghini, not as of right now. Gotta make mature decisions that are gonna make me money so then I can just, with little else, afford it. And now that brings us to the house. So, this is pretty much what we're looking at. And this is obviously gonna be a reverse, but as you can see, whoa, stepped way too far there. This 3D virtual stuff though, is pretty cool. That's gonna be a garage. So don't pay attention to that. That's gonna be where the study's gonna be. So that is how big the study's gonna be. That is a lot bigger than I ever thought I would ever have an office. I'm not gonna lie to you, I've never had my own office. I don't even have the furniture to even fit such the magnitude of an office. But this gives me the opportunity to grow and get things, little collectible things, things I wanna put on walls, plaques, degrees, certifications, job titles, I don't know, something. Obviously it's gonna come with this bathroom and then this is the living space. Now, as I was saying before, this is that morning room space that adds that little extra bit of countertop. I mean, I mean, I like it. I like the fact that the morning room's there. We are kind of somewhat on a lake. You, you can't really see it from this side of the house. It's almost like on this side of the house and over like this window would get it this if there was a sliding glass door here it would get it but this morning room would get a little piece of it not really the whole thing um i get the you know concept of having this plus the lanai obviously which looks really nice i mean i could have went you know either way i just i couldn't justify the price of this room and it's base functionality. I also have to find a place to put my pool table, which is probably gonna be somewhere around Meow. And I wanna have a wet bar or a bar right there. I don't know, comment below. But I'm thinking about it. A little home bar or a bar underneath the TV. I don't know if that just gets in the way of things. I don't know. But this gives me the opportunity to go full balls out HGTV and design it the way I want to. Unfortunately, I'm gonna be stuck with these crappy pendant lights when they first get in because apparently they charge you $600 for pendant lights and they have to actually install the light themselves. And hopefully they don't wire it crappy so then I can just yank these out, put my own pendant lights in. I'm thinking about going with the Einstein bulb look, even though that's gonna do nothing realistically for lighting. Um, or if I can find a smart bulb that is also an Einstein bulb, then we might be into business because I really want this to be a smart house. This house does come with Nest Thermostat. I don't know what to do with that because I already have two in this house. So I guess I'm either leaving these here 
or bringing them with me, but I really don't want to rewire in the old thermostat because I have no idea or do not remember how they went. So they're probably staying here, which is the sad part because that was a lot of money. But I got the best use out of them as I can as far as managing the AC in my house. So still smart house dreams. So my pantry, instead of this little hallway back here, as you can see where my mouse is, my pantry is going to be a lot bigger because the fact that this is going to be a study. So then the pantry is going to be like this whole wall, which is going to be pretty dope. And I definitely wanted to upgrade this railing with the open banister. I just love the spindles and it just looks really nice. Um, not, I really wanted this flooring, but unfortunately they said that, you know, out of stock or whatever the case may be, because the faux wood with the giant size kind of uh, rectangle tiles are kind of nice. And then, you know, go upstairs. This is the view that I really, really like looking at. This is kind of what really sold me on the house was when I walk downstairs from the master bedroom, what am I gonna be able to look at? Obviously that morning room's not gonna be there. And if this program would work any better, it'd be amazing. But the morning room's not gonna be there. That's gonna be all wall. Um, and so sliding glass door right here. So I guess I don't really have that much openness in the space. We did end up going to somebody else's house and uh, kind of seeing their setup. They also didn't have the morning room. So that was pretty dope. But I mean, ladies are gonna love this, what I'm about to show you. This is the master bedroom. Uh, the house is obviously reversed, so you'd have to come up the stairs obviously a different way. We actually opted in for, real quick, before I show you the piece de resistance. That window, that was an expensive window. Just to have a window above the stairs. Really wanted to think about lighting um, as it pertained to coming into the house. Um, our house faces uh, east to west, so sunrise sets in the front of the house, and then we get the sunset in the back of the house over the lake, big selling point. You know, anything to give me a lot of money on my return when I either rent this out and or sell it in the future. But that is a California king size bed. There's a lot of space here. Since I got the full extended lanai, I still will not have this window. So this is pretty much exactly how it's going to look. Essentially, not with all these, I don't know, bird watching stuff. I'm not really a bird watcher. Okay, so the good part there's two, there's a good and a bad. Bathroom, love the bathroom. Okay, I have issues, all right? I do not like walking through the bathroom to get to the closet. I don't know why builders started doing this. I don't really see it as functional. I get if you're going from brushing your teeth, if everything was in the closet, you went to go get dressed and then you walked out so then you wouldn't have to brush your teeth, go outside to a dresser of some sort, grab a certain article and have to walk all the way through, back through the bathroom and into the closet. But if you're sharing the space with somebody, somebody's using the bathroom, now there's this whole like, you know what I mean. It's just, you know, where's the potty? I think the potty is, yeah, potty's right there. So that's the potty. That is the shower. Um, Two positive things. That is a bench. I've never had a shower, a glass shower with a bench. I really want to do away with this linen cabinet, extend the shower, except unfortunately that's probably gonna be a lot of money because they would have to move this wall as long as it's not a supporting structure of the ceiling, move this wall back and increase the tub and increase the amount of tile it's gonna take to tile in and obviously increase the bench size so most likely, most likely I will not be able to increase the size. What I also wanted to do was have a rain shower head. So somewhere along in this plan, if they can move that light, a skosh over, so it's not directly above or maybe offset it. I don't know, water in your electronics, probably not. There's probably a code violation in there somewhere. And or if I could get another shower head on this side of the wall, 
just so I could come from multiple directions so I could feel that feel like a billionaire. You know what I mean? And the closet is about the size of a room. This is about a 10 by, I think it's 10 by 12. I have no idea. All I know is that we looked at one of the bedrooms on the floor plan diagram and it's roughly the same size. A lot of space for a lot of crap. Ladies, eat your hearts out. This is gonna be my closet. I decided to buy a house, guys. So I am now worth over half a million dollars comparatively with both houses together cumulatively growing my net growth my net worth um and we're gonna see how this is gonna go it's gonna be a different chapter even though i know i'm still living in florida and orlando as a whole but hopefully this will uh, shed some light and give me some e easement of um work and i don't know we'll, we'll see. see but until I find out where I wholeheartedly want to live, like, man, I really want to live in this place. This is going to be the option. Just keep buying and renting out houses until eventually the next couple houses that I buy just won't even have a mortgage. It'll just be mortgages, paying for mortgages, and then I'll be able to retire early. So that's my plan. FBN Nation, I know. I'm just going to leave you on a more positive note. Oh, soon. Soon, not as soon as I would like, but we're on the road.